I'm vlogging here. I'm vlogging. Actually, I'm not vlogging. I find vlogging kind of weird. Anyway, I'll skip that for now. So I just wrote a piece. I put it on Killer PHP. Although if you go to KillerSites.com, you can find it there. And I was just talking about how PHP developers could become better PHP developers or understand PHP better if they learn Python. People go, what? How is that the case? Well, it's something I picked up a long time ago when I started learning my second language. And all of a sudden, I was able to get a better understanding of the first language that I learned. And why is that the case? It's because most modern languages share pretty much 98%, you can debate it's 96, 98, 99% of the same basic constructs and concepts, but they express them in different ways. So for example, PHP has functions and so does Python, but they have different code, different syntax, and slightly different behavior. So if you learn PHP functions, then you go out there and you start learning Python functions, all of a sudden your understanding of functions is going to improve quite a bit. And this gets especially so when you start getting into more advanced concepts like anonymous functions and OOP, you know, object oriented programming. And you know what? I should have knew I should have known this instinctively because that's I learned this concept of comparing technologies of will, of will if you will in martial arts where I would do one martial arts style and then when I go do another style uh, in terms of kicking, some kicking art, or some form of karate, or some kung fu, and it would give me more insight in the first style that I did. And uh, it's, it's comparing and contrasting different styles, different technologies, different program, programming languages has tremendous benefits that um, you wouldn't consider, you wouldn't think otherwise. I'm getting out of the wind there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's it. So if you want to become a better PHP programmer, learn Python. You want to become a better Python programmer, learn a little bit of PHP, just to see how the other people do it. It's very, very uh, educational, and it will just give you an overall deeper knowledge of programming. And that's the case. And if you're learning martial arts, do that too. If you're in uh, one style of fighting, if you're in Thai boxing, go learn some just you know, North American kickboxing for a little while. If anybody still does that, I don't know. But uh, anyway, you get the idea. Or if you're doing judo, go learn some jujitsu. And it's going to give you more insight in terms of grappling overall. Uh, it's, uh, it's actually an old concept. I did catch Campbell for quite a while, and I got my black belt in that. It's kind of like an early mixed martial arts. But Kaj Campbell, the philosophy was initially to look at a whole bunch of different styles, try to take what was good and try to keep what was bad. Excuse me. Try to, try to take what's good, get rid of what's bad for you, and just compare different styles. And in fact, the original idea is once you hit your black belt, you, were, should, you should go out there and... Uh, try different styles, try different uh, styles, not just in Catch Campbell, but all over the place. And as a result, Catch Campbell is so varied now. Like you can go from one school to the next in the same city, and you can have a totally different take in terms of how they practice their Catch Campbell. And that's cool. That's cool. Anyhow, so comparing and contrasting languages, that's a cool thing. And about this vlogging, it's funny. I've been studying the whole YouTube thing for a while. And, you know, I'm a little bit older than 20. So the vlogging thing is a relatively new thing that people are into. And I find it's funny. I watch a lot of these vlogs and a lot of these people, they don't have much to say. So it's funny. It's like, today I'm going to go get some coffee and then I'm going to go get on a skateboard and then I'm going to look at some new cameras I'm going to buy. And that's the vlog. And, I, and, and they get some of these guys, they get millions of views. And I, it's, it's interesting. I used to poo-poo on it, if you will, a little bit. But then I realized, well, it's no different than when people back in the 70s and early 80s would watch Johnny Carson or they would watch uh, Jay Leno or they would, you know, whatever. They, they were just interested in the individuals, after, uh, you know, at the end of the day. Anyway, the whole vlogging thing is just kind of weird for me. That's why I don't vlog very often. But whatever, to each their own, to each their own and it's all cool. All right, ciao.